I forgot to mention this before, but any enemies we go up against with real hard defenses, you just leave them to me. Hard defenses? You mean like enemies with shields and things like that? Shields, shells, armor, whatever. When you attack those kinds of enemies from the front, your blows mostly get blocked, right? Sure. So you're saying you have a counter? It's nothing fancy. Let's just say I have a knack for busting open tough, sturdy stuff. It's hard to explain, but I focus my energy and then hit a specific point with everything I've got. If I do it right, their defenses come crumbling down. Really? But without Astral Arts, how could you possibly... If he says he can do it, then he can do it. We can trust him. <sighs> Thanks, Alfin. Although, between you and me, right now there's nothing I want to bash in more than Ganabelt's stupid smug face. I think you'll get your chance soon enough, Law. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. After all that, how can these people carry on like nothing happened? Didn't Zephyr's words reach anyone in that whole crowd? The Snake Eyes could be anywhere. People are scared of being reported, so they can't do Jack. And speaking from experience, when you spend so much of your life as a slave, you stop even thinking of standing up and fighting. Calabria had a lot of people like that. Well, these people are in no position to demand anything anyway, when they've lost the will to fight and need others to protect them. These people have had a hard enough time just keeping the fires lit. No one wants to sacrifice their life without good cause. It is what it is. Once Ganabelt is out of the picture, things in Cislodia are sure to change. Yeah, I hope so. Right behind you, Shion. That damn Ganabelt! I hate him! I'm not seeing very many enemies around. What's going on? They probably know we're not going to run away and are waiting for us to show up. Well, if it's a fight they want, I'll be more than happy to give them one. They're probably inside the Ravel prison tower in the plaza. That's where the Lord here lives. The same building with the spirit vessel that's gathering all the light, huh? We need to be careful of how we go from here. The fact Ganabelt knew about my healing arts and had that poison ready tells me he's extremely dangerous. He's not dangerous. He's just a rat bastard who's getting what's coming to him. I'm telling you, don't underestimate him. We don't know what else he's got in store for us. One misstep on our part is all it's going to take to give him what he wants. <sighs> You're right. Dad, what were you trying to tell me there at the end? I guess it'll have to stay unspoken and unheard. Like all the other things we never got round to telling each other. Get 
Improvement. Must be somewhere inside. How about it, Law? Any idea which way it is? This is a Renan castle. You think they were in the habit of letting a Danon like me inside? Point taken. The astral energy's off the scale. Almost like it's pressing down on me. You can feel it? The whole castle must be brimming with it. My hunch is it'll get stronger the deeper we go. It must be the spirit vessel. You can bet anything it's pulsing with stored astral energy. We can't let Ganabelt use it against us. Then we can assume that's his plan A. <laughs> let him try. I'll destroy anything he throws at us. You think 
that shield will save you? behind you, Shion. This place looks completely different from Balsif's castle. Every lord has their tastes. Whether this really suits Renan's sensibilities is another matter altogether. It's us Danans who built this structure. Practically unstoppable. Nice and tough. What is this place? 
Some kind of armory? Looks like they're more for decorative purposes than actual combat. Does it matter? We've got a job to do. Wait, this isn't Renan. It's... Danon. Really? And not just this one either. All of these. It's all Danon gear. What's Danon equipment doing on display inside a Renan castle? Ask around later if you're so interested. But for now, we've got more pressing matters to attend to, remember? open the door? We still don't know how to activate the elevator. We'll just have to see what we can figure out. That bastard! Giving up... No backing down! Bring him down! No! My shield! First strike! I'll end you! We're not ready! Oh, no shield no. can stand up to no. me! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Here I go! Not a chance! Six. We're no. not done! Yeah. I'll be saving this one! Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right, Shion. They keep a Zugo locked up down here? Why? I've heard rumors that they feed prisoners to one instead of executing them. Do you think... Behind you, Shion. Does this look like an elevator key to you guys? Only one way to find out. Let's go. <gasps> Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Hmm. Are you still thinking about that armory with all the Danon equipment? Yeah, especially that black armor. I don't think I've ever seen anything from Dana that looked so nice. I can tell you that it was definitely Danon. It was made using techniques found only here. That's how I know. But, ever since the Renans came, our civilization's been scrubbed out, bit by bit. Hardly anything's left now, which is why most people don't remember. But why would the Renans have something like that? Unless... It was the spoils of war. It must be a token of the Danans who fought and lost in the past. Or rather, that the Renans were able to beat them. Armor that nice must have been worn by a commander of some sort. They might have even been a Danan hero. A hero, huh? A fallen hero, maybe. I hate to see all that stuff fall into Renan hands. But it's amazing to see that so much of it has survived. You into this kind of stuff then, Rinwell? 
Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. Are we done here? We don't want to keep Ganabelt waiting any longer. Behind you, Shion. Should be easy. Just for getting cocky. like we won. An opponent like this should be easy.
Barely a blip on our radar. Great. Now we can keep moving. Don't overdo it, Law. than I expected. You think the elevator's activated now? Should be. Let's check and find out. <laughs> We're coming for you, Jenna Belt. Yeah, you're finished! Ah, one more! Ah. 
Still in one piece? Just a little farther and we'll be there. I'm coming for you. Get a belt. Hey, hold up a sec, guys. What's up? We need to talk about Ganabelt. This guy can control both light and lightning. And I've heard his swordsmanship is unrivaled. I'm not surprised. He is one of the top lords, after all. That's not all. He also has these weird little gadgets that he likes to use. Gadgets? You mean like some kind of a Renin weapon? Probably. He's got a bunch of these things that hover all around him. They're supposed to protect him from attacks coming in at any angle. I take it there aren't any blind spots, then? Nope. Which is why I plan to bust down his defenses from the front. What? Why? Isn't that where his defense will be the toughest? That's why it's worth attacking. Once I poke a hole in that bastard's defenses, the rest of you can tear it wide open and give him hell! All right. We go with your plan, Law. Now let's get going. It's about time we got revenge for Zephyr. It's about time. I was beginning to worry you'd jump ship like the rats you are. You're not so fortunate. We're here to end you. To liberate Cislodia. To avenge Zephyr. <laughs> you talk big, but don't you think you're forgetting something? Of your precious resistance groups, whether the Silver Swords or any others, none have ever dealt a blow to Renan domination. In each and every realm, the story is the same. Until you... You, who wields the blazing sword of Calaglia, are different. News of Balsef's defeat really took the wind out of your sails. <laughs> that brute? A bad case of brawn over brain. Certainly no loss to me. Still, even the smallest of sparks can grow into an inferno. I must give precedence to the task at hand, extinguishing you. Snuffing out your fire before it spreads across the five realms. Well? N nothing I'm fine. Ah, Ganabelt Valkyrus, Lord of Cislodia, accept your challenge. Come and meet your death. You'll pay for what you did to my father! <laughs> the feisty mouth wishes to fight the hand that feeds, does he? I never wanted to serve you! I had no choice! Not today! Break like and you'll miss it! Power with that gear! Uh, power of water! Get along! Send him away! Cut my steel! Let the rain! You're mine! Power of water! Power of water! Blink! Power of water! Raging old raging cascade! Get along! You're mine! Get along! Air power! Let him! Power of water! You're mine! Perish by every attack! Let him! Power of water! You're mine! Perish by every attack! Leave this to me! I'll take him down! Here I come! Here's the healing arc! You're finished! Demon Blink! 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 Blink!
Refuse to believe this. It cannot end this way. If I die, my subjects will. It's over. That Zephyr's still gone. Focus on the positive. We defeated a lord. And under difficult circumstances, too. <laughs> Focus on the positive? Zephyr's dead, Shion. And the Renans ruled this world unimpeded for three centuries. Did you think there wouldn't be any sacrifices? So Zephyr's life... Just doesn't matter? He's dead, Shion. Our friend is dead. We're fighting this damn war to keep people alive. Yeah, you're right. This is a war. Did you just realize that? Zephyr wasn't the first to die, and he sure won't be the last. If you can't handle that, Alfin, then you should run back to Calaglia. And when you do, just remember to leave the Blazing Sword here, in safer hands. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Damn it. She just thinks she can say whatever she likes. 
Bickering among ourselves at a time like this isn't gonna get us anywhere. Especially at a time like this. <sighs> All right. Fine. So much for Ganabelt. Good riddance. You said it. So, was the Lord of Calaglia like Ganabelt too? No. Balsef was huge, a real tough guy act. Now that I think of it, his crest was different too. His was a flaming cross. Ah, I see. Uh, anyway, what do you guys plan on doing from here? We keep moving. Three Renan Lords remain, and we won't rest until their thrones are empty as well. That worked for you, Xion? That was my endgame from the beginning. Hey, so if it's not too much trouble, could I maybe come along? Isn't Cislodia your home? I mean, yes, but... It's just, now that everyone knows what I've been hiding, well, it might be best to get as far away as I can until it all quiets down. Is that okay? I promise I'll pull my own weight. Sure. You're welcome to join us. Taking off, huh? Yeah. Thanks for everything. It's too bad. I wish there was more we could do to pay you back for all you've done. I'll see to it personally that Zephyr's remains reach Calaglia safely. What's next for Cislodia? I honestly couldn't tell you. The enemy infiltrated its way right to our core as a people. Only time will tell if we can rise above our suspicions and come together. Zephyr once told me that so long as you don't give up, there's no wall that can't be torn down. Sounds about right. And thanks to you, the greatest obstacle that was in our way is now gone. I suppose the rest of it will be up to us. I look forward to seeing how far you'll go. Oh, I almost forgot. Before you head off, there's something I wanted to give you. Hmm? Grub up real nice. It was a parting gift. It's like speaking to one of the old Danon heroes from legend. Where to next then? Elda Menencia. You're really going to travel in that thing? Why not? It's not as heavy as it looks. Actually, there's someone I was hoping we could invite along with us. You can't be serious. Got some place to be? Not really. I mean, I can't stay here, of course. Then again, there's no one waiting for me back in Calaglia either. Plenty of ditches along the road. Maybe I'll find one to die in. How about a fresh start? After the kinds of things I've done, I don't know where I'd even begin. Your father said that as long as you face the past, there's hope. I think it might be a little late for that. He also said he'd fought and lost all his life, but didn't regret it in the slightest. <laughs> it's only over when you give up. Keep fighting and even that wall inside you can be brought down. Don't you want to see what your dad saw on the other side of that wall? What he was fighting for? Do you... Do you think I'm even worthy to? 
That's for you to decide. I... I'm sick of losing everything I love. Of running from life. Maybe all that's left is to just turn around and face it. Count me in. Finally. I thought you'd never finish. We've still got a ways to go.